and we have a Tommy Travels red alert. There could be blinking and flashing lights in this adventure. If you are not a fan of blinking and flashing lights, you may want to turn away now. Well, hello there, and welcome to another beautiful day for an adventure. We are back at Icon Park. Actually, just me today. It's only me. I'm flying solo. And we are in front of Wonderworks. We've been to a place kind of like this in the Wisconsin Dells, the Upside Down White House, top secret. I don't know if this is by the same company that makes it. I'm not positive, but it's upside down. I do know that. I'm not sure what we're in store for, so we're gonna learn about this place together. Welcome to another edition of Tommy Travels. It's Tommy Travels. This should be fun, you guys, so come on with me. Let's go see what there is to see. Here's the actual entrance to the location if you're not taking an Uber. They've got a parking ramp and they even have valet parking, which is complimentary. It's some college kids that do it for the tips. That's what we did last night and it worked out sweet because there was no parking spots available in this whole place, at least that we saw. Here we are in line. The line winds all the way around the building and I noticed as I was looking up, even even the trees are growing upside down around here. Look at that palm tree growing the wrong way. <laughs> Very fun. If I were a safety inspector around here, I'm not sure if this would get a passing grade. I, I'm not sure if we're gonna make it through this adventure, but we're gonna, we're gonna give it a try anyway. <laughs> While you're in line, you can even get your picture taken with some parrots. Or actually macaws, I believe, is what one of those is for sure. He says he's been out here for a long time doing this. So I bet there's a lot of Instagram publicity for these guys. Man, now that I'm closer up to the building, it really does go way up there. And look at the ceiling slash foundation seems to be crumbling away. <laughs> you might want to wear a hard hat standing in line. <laughs> I didn't even notice this little detail. They've got a FedEx box. <laughs> so if you have a package to mail, you can go ahead and go right up there somehow, I guess. <laughs> this is a very scary entrance. Not only is the building upside down, there seems to be something amiss. There's some smoking happening from somewhere. I don't know what the problem is, but it's not good. There's where we came in, and this place is indeed upside down. Look at that stairs going up to, I don't know where. <laughs> upside down pictures, and then as you're in line, they have Moldomatic, where you can get a upside down building like Wonderworks. You can get Dippin' Dots, there's a claw machine. All sorts of fun while standing in line today. Hello, sir. Can you tell me the story of what Wonderworks is all about? Yes, I can. It was an underground laboratory in the Bermuda Triangle where we were trying to harness the power of a man-made tornado. It ripped the whole lab apart. The whole lab. It created a vortex that carried us thousands of miles into Orlando. It ripped our place from the foundation and landed right here. But all of the stuff inside remained intact. And we are going to step inside to an inversion tunnel to begin this adventure. Thank you very much, sir. That was very helpful. And here we go into the inversion tunnel. I've been on a few of these in my time, and they are, wow, quite disoriented. Quite disorienting. And I can never say that word either when I'm on these things. 
and we are about to experience an earthquake tunnel as our first big adventure of the day. This should be fun. The sign says, come on in and try our great shakes. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Okay, so this is the earthquake room. We're gonna take a seat and experience a 5.3 earthquake. This should be interesting. You are about to experience an earthquake that registers 5.3 on the Richter scale. 5.3. You will feel a tremor, followed by a series of intense jolts. And finally, the aftershock. Uh oh, the aftershock. This is considered Whoa. moderate. <laughs> Get ready, hang on, and prepare for the oh my quake God. to begin. Holy cow. Oh, it's definitely shaking. Oh my God. I can't imagine. Oh. Holy cow! You gotta be kidding me! This is ridiculous! I wouldn't have a dish left in my apartment if that happened! Oh my god! That was amazing! This one is called Cold as Ice. How long can you keep your hand in icy cold water? Well, I'm from Minnesota, so probably a long time. This water is 38 degrees. Fresh water freezes and turns to ice at 32 degrees. So let's just take a look, I guess. We'll give it a shot. I'm hot as heck anyway, so. Got my hand in there. We're doing all right. Moving it around a little bit. Uh, actually, that is pretty darn cold. You know, even from Minnesota, uh, not a great feeling. I had spent about 21 seconds. Can I make it to 30? 25, 27, 30 seconds. That's about as long as you'd want to go with your hands in icy cold water. My hand is red, it's numb. That's about enough for me. So see if you can beat that record if you're ever here. We're now in the anti-gravity machine. Let's hit the green button here. Oh, oh you can't really see it on here very well. But there's this thing, there's a strobe light going on. And it makes it look like this water is flowing from down there to up here. <laughs> because of the strobe light effect, it's a real weird optical illusion. Now, we can be a human lightning rod. I believe if we push this button, right here, look at that. Holy cow, we can put our hand right in here. Whoa! Look at that! There's my hand! I'm getting jolted by a billion boats! <laughs> now I think I know how Doc Brown made his flux capacitor! And as long as I am in Florida, I may as well experience a hurricane here at the Hurricane Shack. <laughs> I got an earthquake in. May as well have a hurricane as well. Here we go. We're going to experience some major winds. You're not going to be able to hear a thing. But we're going to see what this is all about. the Bubbles Lab, where they have nifty experience with bubbles. So I guess you just take your your bubble maker and 
If you're a novice like me, nothing will really happen. But let's see if we can get a bubble going here, shall we? Let's see. Oh, there we go. Had it for a second there. Let's try. Let's see if we can get something a little better than that for YouTube. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Got a little bit of action there. Let's try again. Oh, man, I could be doing this all day long. It's hard. Whoa, there we go. That was an awesome one. Okay, mission accomplished on that. All right, if at first you don't succeed, try some bigger bubbles. Let's see what happens here. Nothing. <laughs> Let's try it again. Oh, holy cow. Look at that. That thing was huge. Let's see if we can get us encased in a bubble here. I'm gonna pull it up. See if we can get ourselves inside of a bubble. We can! Oh, oh, we had it for a second. We're gonna try one more time with this. We were in a bubble <laughs> for two seconds. That was awesome. With this exhibit, we can learn about the speed of light. When we step up onto the board here, and then you have to try to hit these buttons as they blink. Let's give it a try. Ready? Go! I got... Boy, I was terrible at that. I don't exactly know what the object was, but it was bad. Here they have kind of a cool optical illusion. As you move, the buildings seem to move also. So we were looking at the corners of the buildings, and now the whole angles and everything have changed. And then they change back as you move the other direction. That is... <laughs> That is fascinating. This one is pretty freaky too. Albert Einstein, just a bust of Albert Einstein, but look as you move, he follows you. Look at that, he turns his whole head like that. All an illusion. But look at how persistent he is about it. He says reality is merely an illusion, albeit a persistent one. Smart words, Albert Einstein. Smart words. Oh, I love this art form. Where they take a skeleton skull and they're able to somehow rebuild it into what the person would have actually looked like. And here they have how that process is done right here where they can level out how, how deep the skin and tissues would be and keep the process going until you wind up with something like this. Unbelievable. We have now entered a space shuttle where we can choose our skill level. Obviously for me, I can't even pick how to do the skill level. There we go. Novice. <laughs> Runway 33, Kennedy Space Center. Press the trigger to change view. There we go. All right, let's, let's go. I don't know exactly what we're supposed to be doing here. I'm pushing the lever forward. And we are moving. Here we go, flying high above the countryside. This is your captain speaking. I have no idea. Oops, you did not quite make a successful landing. Oh. <laughs> Attention passengers. Uh, you're all going to be dead in about five seconds. <laughs> Thank you for traveling Tommy Travels Airlines. <laughs> you won't be able to try again. And of course, exit through the gift shop where they've got all sorts of wonderful merchandise, t-shirts, glasses, plush toys. <laughs> I think, therefore I stem. Perfect. Well, 
Well, as we take one final look around this amazing WonderWorks attraction here in Icon Park in Orlando, Florida, this has been an absolute blast. We've been in a hurricane and in an earthquake today, and we survived both of them. This has been an amazing time, and if you liked what you saw, go ahead and hit like, hit subscribe, and thank you guys all so much for the support that you've given me so far, including you, Einstein. Thank you so much, Einstein. Are you looking at me? Uh, hey, are you looking at me? <laughs> I hope to catch you on the flip side.